Straightallday.com. Dre Baldwin, work on your game, university.com. Topic of this video is expansion. Expansion of your game, expansion of what you're doing into other opportunities. And this is really about, <clears throat> this is about in business, for example, and I'm really talking about this from a business perspective. It's looking at the things that you're doing right now in business and asking yourself, or even better than asking yourself, is something else I tell you to do. What other things could I take, what other things could I get involved in and get value in utilizing what I'm already doing and what I already have in place? That's what expansion is about. It's about taking the pieces that you already have and making something new out of it. So to give you an example, I remember I used to, I remember I was watching somebody's video somebody had a bunch of videos on YouTube and this person on YouTube was like, well, I'm about to take a bunch of my content from YouTube and I'm going to make a mixtape out of my own content. And even though I never really, I didn't really borrow that idea and go use it. It got my mind thinking, Oh, how can I take these random pieces from the stuff that I'm doing and make it into something else that I'm not right now doing? And that's what the, the idea of expansion is about. How can I expand from where I'm at to other places just using the raw material that I already have in place? Instead of throwing that away, how can I use it for something else? So any of you knows what a hot dog is, for example, and I mean literal hot dogs that people eat. All a hot dog is is all the scraps from making pork, like uh, bacon and sausage. <clears throat> and whatever else they use pigs to make ham, I guess. And they take whatever is left, all the leftover pieces, so that they don't waste the leftover pieces of the pig and throw it in the trash. Instead of throwing it in the trash, all they do is gather all that stuff together and then they mash it up into one thing and they give it a name and they call it a hot dog. That's what a hot dog is. Now, I'm not telling you to go eat hot dogs. But what I'm telling you is you need to take that same idea and use that to expand what you're doing. Now, how do you do this besides looking at it yourself and just trying to figure it out on your own is very simple. You need to look at others who are already doing something like this and asking yourself, how can I borrow from what they're doing and start using it myself? That's what you got to do. Borrow from people who are already doing it so you don't have to figure anything out. This is what the smartest people do to move forward the fastest. People who are the smartest and advancing the fastest all they do is use the thought and the thinking energy, the mental energy and the physical energy of other people and they use it for their own purposes. So they let you go figure out the idea then they just go borrow the idea and they build on top of it, that's it. They let you figure out, oh, this is where the opportunity is. Then when you see it, then you go make an opportunity for yourself out of the opportunity that you saw them create. That's where the, op that's where the, the game is at. So you don't have to try to figure this out on your own. Just look around. Look around at other people who are in a similar lane to you. Look at what they're doing and ask yourself, how can you do it? I'll give you a couple other examples. So, for example, me, when I first started putting content out online, I was making just basketball training stuff, just showing people how to practice basketball. Then people asked me about mindset, so I started talking about mindset. That's pretty much what I was doing. I would do basketball training stuff and talk about mindset. Then I saw... I found out rather that there was a lane and an entire industry based on people who talked about mindset and other things getting on a stage and speaking about it and you could actually make money just doing that. And that's how I expanded from just talking about mindset in YouTube videos to talking about mindset on stages. Now from doing that to talking about mindset more, another thing that happened is somebody left a comment in one of the live streams I did back in the day. This is like 2000, it's probably like 10 years ago. I'm doing a live stream and some person who I don't know came in the comment and they said, hey, uh, you sound like a coach. Do you do any coaching? And at that point, I had never coached anybody. I never directly sold, sold my services as a coach. I've never done that before. But because this person left the comment and said, well, you sound like a coach. Do you offer coaching? I just said, yes, yes, I offer coaching. And I offered that person coaching. I wasn't lying because from that moment forward, I did offer coaching. And I started coaching that person. From doing that... At the same time that I was talking about the mindset stuff, uh, self-publishing became ubiquitous to where you could write a book and you didn't have to go through a gatekeeper in order to get your book published. So I started writing books on the same stuff that I was talking about on YouTube. 
so that's how I expanded into being an author. Then, as I was doing the coaching stuff, people who are in the business world, maybe not looking for a coach themselves, but they have business teams. Let's say a sales team, for example. They would say to me, well, Dre, can you take the same stuff that you're talking about mindset-wise, and can you teach this to my business team? Can you teach it just in-house to my business team? It's not like a speaking gig, but like, do come in as a consultant or as an expert and or a trainer for my team and teach them the stuff that I hear you talking about in your material or that I read you talking about in your books. And I said, well, yes, I can. That's another form of expansion. So you see how all these expansions can grow from one specific, one uh, small thing. It started as one thing. All I was doing was talking about mindset to basketball players who were asking about it. From there, you got books, you got speaking, you got coaching, you got training, you got consulting. I could even put together, if I, if I wanted to, maybe I will, uh, God willing, if I had time, maybe I'll make a textbook. I can make a textbook on mindset for being a professional in business, if I wanted to. I'm saying all that to say, you can expand from one thing. Once you see it has value, the question you should ask yourself is where else can this have value? Where can this have value to someone other than the person who I'm giving it to right now? Because other people might benefit from this in addition to, I'm not going this way. It's crazy traffic right now where I'm at. I usually don't drive in the middle of the day in Miami. Usually you all see me in these videos where I'm in my <clears throat> business uniform. Usually I'm at home, but I'm doing this today because I just came from doing some training. And it's crazy traffic in the middle of the day. That's why I don't drive in the middle of the day. But anyway how one little thing, my point, can expand to a whole bunch of other things, but you have to be thinking expansion. This stuff is uh, has to be thought about. You gotta be conscious and intentional about it. And there's a whole lot of opportunity once you start finding it. Once you start getting into these veins, and again, just look around. You'll see other people already doing this stuff. All you gotta do is take the frame of what they're doing and apply it to what you do. You don't have to do the same thing. Just take the frame of what they're doing and say, okay, how can I, how can I expand? Or who else is expanding, how can I expand? that's that you want some direct help on this on how to actually start doing this for yourself and in your business go to work on your game university.com that's the link in my bio or not my bio but my the video the description to this video and, and my bio on social media you work on your game university.com that's where you can work with me directly that's where all our attention is that's where we're working with our high level performers so work on your game university.com work on your game Dre all day